Here we go, time again for Smart Money Monday. Today we're talking about payment conveniences. Brandon Naito here is the online and mobile product manager for Bank of Hawaii. Brandon, we're always talking about those new chips now that are embedded within either the debit cards or the credit cards. What are they? Why are they so important? It's an EMV chip, often referred to, uh, stands for Europay, MasterCard, and Visa. Those are the companies that actually brought it to first Europe and now bring it to the United States to help customers feel a little bit more secure and added protection at their in-store purchases. So how do they differ from the magnetic strip that we're used to seeing? The biggest one is the encryption that's on the microchip. Another is the way you make your payments. So rather than swipe, you insert your card on the chip end side, put it into the terminal, leave until it's approved, and then you're ready to take out. So how is it safer from swiping? Uh, again, it goes back to that chip because there's added security, there's encryption on that chip. It's very difficult to counterfeit, it's very difficult to replicate. And what happens is that there's a one-time uh, unique code that's presented to the merchant and that's the difference there in the added protection because that code cannot be replicated. So are we going to see the magnetic strip disappear? I think it still be there because it adds flexibility for the customer to make purchases through EMV or the card itself based on the merchant if they have already transferred their terminals to EMV. Okay, so if somebody does become a victim of fraud, does this help? Well, uh, the United States set a deadline for 2015, um, October, to have the financial institutions start to reissue their cards with the EMV chip, to have the merchants um, begin to replace their terminals with the EMV protections. What that means is that we will see more and more cards with the EMV, we will see more and more terminals that accept EMV cards, and what that does is it helps the uh, customer with the uh, potential fraud that may occur right. without the chip. Interesting. Anything else? I mean, it's really good for the customer. It's easy because for the customer, um, all you have to do is wait until the card comes in and make sure to activate it. And if you do have any recurring payments or anything that happens with the old card, make sure you update the information for the new card. All right, very interesting to learn a little bit more about the new technology. For Brandon Naito, I'm Steve Wehar. Thanks for watching Smart Money Monday.